Hi everyone, my name is Walter Rowe. I'm a Capture One affiliate and I wanted to show the capabilities of the new heal tool in Capture One 20 update 13.1. The new heal tool gives us the ability to have an infinite number of heals on a heal layer and each one of them can have their own unique source. We've been asking for this for a long time. What is really powerful about this is how it's going to change how we do skin retouching within Capture One. It's going to enable us to do a lot fewer trips into Photoshop or Affinity Photo and a lot less time doing things like frequency separation. Here this is an engagement portrait I took of a couple and I've used this the new heel layer and the heel brush to do the skin retouching on their face. I'm going to zoom in to 100% and I'm going to use the new before after tool and we're going to see as I slide back and forth uh, the adjustments that I made on this image. And, and all of this has been done completely within Capture One. In particular, I want you to note uh, his complexion, uh, the lines on his forehead, the lines around his eyes. Uh, she had a mole on her head, uh, some shine on her forehead and on her cheek. And all of these have been removed within Capture One using the new Heal tool. The uh, uh, ability of this new Heal tool is really quite remarkable. I'm going to make a clone variant of this image and I'm going to remove the heel layer and I'm going to use the Q key to start the heel uh, brush and I'm going to bring up the brush settings and here you can see that I've got a very low flow about 16 I've got an opacity of 94 uh, not fully 100% but close to 100% and notice I've got a very very soft brush so it blends around the edges, smooths the edges really nicely. And I'm going to brush, uh, I'm going to adjust the brush size uh, at different settings as I need it. Um, notice also there's a little uh, checkbox that says display arrows. So this allows you to display the arrows that, that show you the source that was used for each of the heels. And in a second we'll uh, show what this is when you turn it off, uh, how it changes the display. So here I've selected the, the brush. Notice there is no heel layer. The, the, the first time I do a heel, uh, it will automatically create a heel layer. If there is a heel layer and it's not selected, then when you hit the Q brush and start painting, it will select the topmost heel layer. Uh, so let me zoom into 200% so we can really see what's going on here. So you can see I painted in, but I did not choose the source. Capture One chose the source, and it did a really remarkable job. I'm going to now paint in right here on this line on his face. We'll try and get rid of this line. Notice the very low flow, uh, but I'm going to paint a little heavier where the line is deeper, and I'm going to paint lighter where the, where the line uh, lessens uh, because we don't need as much uh, of, the, of the heel to happen. And I'm going to let go. And it's going to pick a source, and there it's healed right out. And I'm going to go to this line that's right in the eye. This is a pretty deep one. I'm going to paint it a little heavier. And then we're going to watch how the Capture One selects a, a very good source. Notice for none of these so far have I chosen the source. Capture One is choosing the source, and it's doing a remarkable job of choosing the source and blending in. Now you can see the, the lines around the eye are, are, are now all gone. <clears throat> Here's a, line, here's a line under this eye, I'm going to get rid of that one, I'm going to let it pick the source. Now in this case, notice that it picked a source that happens to also have a line. We can now choose the base of the source, notice how it's turned amber, and I can just move it and it will now blend in from the alternate location. If I click again, it'll deselect it, and now I can just start painting elsewhere, and it will now select a new source because I've chosen a new area to paint in and it will blend in and I'm doing all the skin retouching right in Capture One. Here's a little blemish, a, a little uh, piece I want to get rid of. Here's another one down here I'm going to get rid of. I'm just painting a little more where I need a little more and I paint a little less so the, uh, so the opacity is less uh, in areas I don't need as much. But all of this is happening completely within Capture One, no frequency separation. This is doing a remarkable job, very good. I'm going to go a little bit bigger brush here. I'm going to get rid of this uh, bump right here on the nose. 
and we're going to see this just goes away very nicely and capture one does a really good job of even picking the source and look at there it's completely gone remember we're looking at 200 percent magnification i'm going to now go down a little bit more maybe not quite so far here we go and we'll just go across this line get rid of this line on the forehead and I, so i think you're getting a, a good idea of just how amazing this uh this capability is within Capture One to do uh, skin retouching and smoothing and you never have to leave Capture One for this. Capture One does a tremendous job of picking the source. As you can see all of these little blemishes are healed out. Uh, I'm not going to go through and do the entire image for you but I wanted to demonstrate the capability. So notice the, uh, the arrows are, are visible. If I right click and uncheck the display arrows now the arrows are not visible. I can use the M key to see the masks just like I could before. Uh, I can also go under the visibility menu and turn on and off the heal and clone arrows. So you have two different ways of doing it. Under the visibility menu within the layers panel and also under the brush pop-up on the uh, where you address the brush settings. I hope you're impressed with this as much as I am. I think this is a remarkable addition to Capture One and I believe it's well worth the update for you to go and check out. Thanks for watching my video. I uh, hope you'll use the links in my profile. I do earn a small commission from Capture One when you use them. Thanks and have a great day.